you'll hear all kinds of people giving sort of near religious treatises on different kinds of dietary uh, programs. And I'm sorry to say that the low carbohydrate diet, it comes from a logical place. If carbohydrate makes your blood sugar rise, let's avoid the carbohydrate. And it's true. Your blood sugar could go down right away because you're not eating any of the carbohydrates your body needed. What are you left with? You're left with fats, some good fat perhaps, but some really bad fat, the saturated fat that's not just linked to a high cholesterol level, but even to Alzheimer's disease. Your fat, to, to answer your question, your body can use that as fuel your body is, can switch around and use different kinds of fuels. It's designed for times of food privation to use various kinds of fuels. But if you want something nice and clean burning, your big friend is a high carbohydrate diet. When I say high carbohydrate diet, I don't mean candy. What I mean is really four big groups, and that's whole grains, fruits, the bean group or the legume group, and the vegetable group. These, each, each group is huge. It's got lots of different members in it, but those are the, the, the uh, fuels that your brain would really like you to be consuming.